Hey, what's up? I'm James. I'm Chad. With RPM Improvement Outdoor Services, LLC, RandallPMI.com. Today, we're going to bring you a, sh a video. We're kind of starting a project. Uh, we're going to go over it. It has to do with our what, 99 F-350 Super Duty that we picked up this year. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop. Chad's going to go over, uh, since he's the man as far as this goes, going to go over what the project entails. Yep. All right. Step by step. Step by step. All right, so this past season, uh, we picked up this flatbed Ford F-350, had a lift gate on it, and uh, we originally were just going to look and see about how to cut the whole thing off. But we, we started actually using it in ways that uh, we had never really dreamed of. Um, one way was uh, we were uh, doing some landscaping work, I can't remember what it was, removing some bushes or something. Anyway, we would roll our wheelbarrows of refuse onto this, raise it up, and then dump it into the back of our dump truck. So from that point on, we used it for just about everything. Only problem is, severely rotten. So, we're going to rebuild this gate. And it's all just one step, rebuild it. Step by step. So basically what, we, uh, what we're doing is we're getting rid of the diamond plate floor and we're going to use expanded metal. Um, not only for uh, wind resistance issues, but also for visibility. Uh, it's a little bit easier to know what's going on behind you. Uh, so the original gate has got one support in the middle, but it also has all that diamond plate. So with, with the expanded metal, we're gonna have two supports in it. And we contacted a distributor for the manufacturer of the gate, Anthony Liftgate, and uh, we got a rebuild kit for the hinges. All the parts necessary to rebuild that. Only thing is, we are going to remove and save these tabs, the tab for the chain and the tab that locks the gate into place. Should be a piece of cake. <laughs> so, uh, what's your, what is your estimated time frame? Do you think to to actually tear this down, rebuild it? I mean, we're, we're at it. As long as it's not snowing, we right. kind of have some extra time this time of year. So, what do you think if we could dedicate day to it? Oh, really don't know. Never done anything like this before. <laughs> um, I would like to say we'll have it done between the two of us. Let's say, let's say 40 hours labor between the two of us. All right. And that's because we haven't ever done it before. And we're actually going to be reusing parts of it as well. So that's that's a little bit more delicate process whenever you have to cut metal off, clean it, and reuse it. So we'll give us a little extra time for that. Well, the nice thing about it, Chad, is you got fabricating experience. A, this a is, little this bit. is kind of right up your alley. Right, right. And, and we did come across a heavier welder. We wanted to get a heavier welder to tackle specifically this project. Uh, this lift gate is not the only 
thing we're going to do to this truck. No, we have we have let's more. Go, let's go take a look at those. Where goes that? I put them over on the workbench, but let's go take a look at the let's look at the the dang issue first. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. The truck itself has got a uh, hundred and eighty thousand miles on it. Uh, Triton V10 runs. It runs good. Um, we haven't had any. We haven't had knock on wood. We haven't. We haven't had any issues with it. Um, again, this is pretty much the main problem with trucks in Illinois. They they rot away. So, <laughs> cab corners and rocker panels. So, that's going on too. In addition to that, We'll be repainting the whole truck and getting rid of the magnets. We're putting vinyl on, vinyl lettering, like we have on our, our two-ton truck. So, and we're also gonna go over brakes and U-joint and things like that. We're gonna get, oh, yeah. we're gonna get it ready for the, the fun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get it ready for this season. It'll be Ford Blue. Yep. Or New, oh, Holland. New Holland Blue. Yeah, New yeah. Holland Blue. Right, right. New Holland Blue. All right. Well, we will keep you up to date with this project. This is the major one we're starting. Uh, and we will uh, let you know how it goes. Best tires. Best tires ever. Cooper <laughs> Discover AT3s. We put them on everything. <laughs> We didn't get paid to say that either. We don't get paid to say anything. No, but they are, they are good tires though. We put them on everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yep.